So a wah pedal is essentially like a filter or an EQ and it is usually controlled when it when it's like this, uh, this one by a foot pedal which goes like this. There are different types of wah, you know, th this one's just the, the one that I, I have to demo for you guys to kind of show you what it's all about. And essentially when the heel is pressed down the, the filter or the EQ has moved to, to boosting the, the lower frequencies and cutting the higher frequencies. And then as we move to the toe, it gets brighter. And it, that's, that's what it's essentially doing. It's like a little filter sweep. There are a few kind of, kind of typical wah sounds. Um, one of them can be done literally by not even playing any chords, just by muting your strings and getting this kind of... You know, kind of pretending we're on a 70s cop show or something. Oh yeah, so cool. Um, and of course that same technique is used in probably the most famous wah song ever uh, by Jimi Hendrix, a bit of Voodoo Child. And I would say the final application of a wah pedal, where you're most commonly going to hear it, is in late 80s uh, rock guitar solos, particularly in the faster section. So maybe if there was a lick like... Something like that, which is the one sweet picking lick that I know and can play. Um, Oh yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, frankly though, I, I think a wah pedal is so great from, from a teaching point of view and improving your skills. A wah pedal is so great just for really getting used to rhythm and really playing about with, you know, adding some kind of, getting some funk into your playing and getting that kind of thing. So I would re highly advise if you do have a wah pedal or you, you get a chance to play through one, try having a drum beat on or jamming along to some sort of funk bass track and getting all this kind of thing. Let me drive down a little bit. Getting this kind of thing over it. And there's a couple of really safe ways to, to do this, namely. Now let's just pick the very guitar friendly key of A. Now we're imagining that we'll, we'll be in a context that, you know, the A minor pentatonic will work in. So, like the key of A minor, or there's a little riff being played in the bass part. Whatever happening, we're typically sticking, sticking on an A chord or an A power chord, okay? What you could do in that situation, if you have a wah pedal, is play strings two, three, and four with a flat first finger, and then perhaps use a flat third finger or your little third finger and um, middle finger to play those same strings but at fret 7. So this is thinking of wh whatever key you'd be in. It would be at this fret and then these frets. So thinking about it kind of like this bar chord shape. And um, then you can hit with a flat first finger. And this is based upon the, the double stops idea, where we would have... Um, <laughs> pentatonic based, but sort of Chuck Berry licks, these kind of double stops that we look at in my lead guitar courses, basically. And they're all over the internet. If you search for, you know, double stop technique, um, minor pentatonic based, you're going to find them. But we can take a real advantage of that here because we can just hit... If, if you're in doubt, wherever the, wherever the root note is on string six, hit that same fret on the thinnest, you know, uh, 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 even the thinnest string, but it works best in my opinion, on strings two and three, and even adding four as well. And what we're doing is we're always keeping the right hand, just 
hitting 16s. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And then we're pressing down. It's when we press down that creates the rhythm. Now it would depend on the backing track groove or, or the, the song that you're playing over as to what rhythm would work best over that. Um, but it's, it's typically good to start on the beat at the start of a bar and then over either one or two bars, hit more offbeat ones. So, bow. But a simple way to start would just be hitting beat one and then beat three and four. One, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. And all the time, what I'm actually doing, I'm like tapping the beat with my toes essentially, because when we're here, we've got the brighter sound, and when the heels down, we've got the lower sound. So we're getting this one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, and that would be the first thing to set up. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. And this is why I always encourage, whenever you're doing a rhythm guitar part, to try and tap your foot to the beat, because then not only do you understand how, how the rhythm works underneath and you sort of get the count out of your head, but you can do more fun stuff like this. And that's just muting the strings with my left hand, strumming all the strings. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. That's how that would work. Then perhaps add a strum on the beat. Um, so pressing down on the beat, I should say. One e and a, two e and a. And it's amazing how many different beats work, but we really need, for this to work best, you need some kind of rhythm over it. So let's give us a little riff and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So there's my loop. It's based on the E minor pentatonic, pretty much. Activate the wah pedal by pressing down. And I've said before, find the key that you're in. Here we're in the key of E, so we've got an E at 12th fret. First point of call. Find that, find that B. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. That's just with the mute in the, the strings. That's beats uh, one and then three. One, two, three, four. One, two, We're in the key of E, so we're not quite going to be no we've got in the pentatonic. But then also, strings 2, 3, and 4 at 14th fret, sort of thinking about the safe notes to be all the first finger and then like a bar chord shape, like an A shaped bar chord. So what that gives you is a really safe, easy way that is going to work in all kind of all places where the minor pentatonic would work. That little trick would work at any point. The, at any point, you could also then go to minor pentatonic licks and tricks that you may know. An experiment with, um, you know, going faster. When you're doing lead licks, you don't have to keep it to, this is kind of a rhythm chip kind of thing. And when you have a lead part, you do it slow. Have a lot more freedom.
So that's just a short introduction to the wah pedal. Check out the rest of this Guitar Effects ongoing series here on YouTube, on the Andy Guitar YouTube channel. I will hope to see you again. Bye for now. Enjoy playing your wah!